Hey guys, welcome to the Salty Strikes Fishing Channel. I'm Chris, this is Kim, and we're about 10 miles offshore, about 73 feet of water, and um, it was dark when we came out this morning, and foggy, it was pretty, <laughs> it was pretty slow getting out here, and then uh, finally the sun started coming up, kind of coming up over our shoulders. Uh, we're getting an early bite here, we're offshore, we got a couple dozen shrimp, and we're gonna get on them. So stick around, check it out. And what we're doing here is we just got some uh, fish render rigs, and about a two or three ounce circle hook, I kind of put them all butts together so I can't tell which one's which, but uh, and then just right off the tail, I like to double hook them right there through the back to you know makes it harder for them to just rip off the hook and then drop them down. Kim's hooked up already. I haven't even hit the bottom yet. What you got, baby? Little. Oh, yeah, a little str holy crap, there's no, uh, you can keep it if you want, well we got a Graysby grouper, uh, there's no size limits on these, you can keep three, uh, so they don't, these don't get very big, so we're going to keep it, alright, Ken's hooked up again, and oh, a <laughs> little mangrove, I got hooked up too over here. We'll see. And I got a grunt, you got a mangrove. I think I'm gonna do that. Good grief, it comes hooked up again. I'm still trying to drop. Oh, another little grouper. I got a fish over there and I'll get him. He's not going alright, I think he's look good. What do we got? A little bit better here, I think. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, vermilion. Too small though. He's gotta be 12. And I bet he's 11 and a half. Watch. Just over 11 and a half. Whoa. Good grief! Can't hold a, hold a fish for nothing. Well, we're we're getting on fish. Hopefully, they keep getting bigger from here. Just like that, hook through and drop them down. Nope. Yeah, I'll just put them in the live well. Well, stinks in the in the you know in the hustle and bustle to get going this morning. I forgot my big rod. I usually have a spin fish or 7500 or I threw a throw a line out the back with something like one of those uh, uh, grunts but uh, I can't believe I forgot it uh oh what's that man you keep getting these little ones is, is he digging down fighting oh I got a lane nice as soon as I set it down <laughs> hey, he's right at 12 you want to keep him yeah we'll keep him so far, Ken's been fell in the box. All I got is bait. Man, he hit. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh. So I gotta finally get one of these to the surface here. And Lane, little guy though. Little Lane. He's going back. Got something. He seems decent too. No, not that decent. <laughs> I'm like decent if he's like a lane. Yeah, another decent lane. Oh, he choked that one. Ah, crap. Yeah, we'll keep him then. Let's see uh, how to swallow that one. Yeah, he's almost 12. We'll keep him in a box. I don't want to jinx it, but you know what we haven't caught yet? Oh, that's about to say it. Oh man, 
they'll start coming in here soon. Watch. Oh, got another one. Man, as soon as I drop this thing. Ooh, another nice lane. Oh, that's a good one right there. Yeah, right at 13. Pretty. Coming out here sometimes, like, uh, kind of reminds me of that, like, game show. I don't remember, like, it, I forget the name of it was called, but it's like, you know, there's like, no whammies, no whammies, and the, the thing was spin. Stop it all. And I come out here and I think of the red snapper. I'm like, no whammies, no whammies. Red snapper are fun to catch and all, but it gets tired tossing them back when they're good, nice eating fish. But hey, those are the rules, and uh, we follow the rules, so to the best of our abilities. Dropping down again. All right, looked up again. I think it's another nice lane. That's what it feels like, anyway. Uh, yeah, he's. He's like 11 and a half. Well, all right, well, can says keep them. Nine inches. Yeah, lane snapper are only nine inches. Correction, lane snapper are only eight inches in this bag, 10, uh, 10 bag limit. But um, still, even eight inch, that's, uh, I don't know why anybody would want to keep an eight inch lane snapper. Oh, hooked up again. So it's kind of like another 12 inch lane. Oh, yep. Call it. And, yep. Just a little hair over 12. Another one in the box. There we go. Yeah, that's a good one. There we go. Nah. Another nice lane. Woohoo! Knock on wood, no whammies yet. And he's... Oh. <laughs> yes, I threw this at you on purpose. You know my hands don't work. I'm going to get so much crap for that in the comment section. I know you guys are going to load it down there. I don't care, it's whatever. It is what it is. Hey guys, if you're enjoying uh, the Salty Strikes Fishing Channel, uh, hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. We really greatly appreciate it. We'd love for you to join us on all our fishing adventures, so come along. Alright guys, I think we're done with the grunts, so I think we're going to make a move to a new spot. Alright all right guys, spot number two. See if uh, we can't pick up some more fish here. It's hooked up. A nice one. Oh, oh man. Get him, camera. Get him. Net. It's gonna be a netter. Oh crap! I think I got something over there. What you got, baby? What you got? Yeah, I'm hooked up. Well, I gotta. Well, you're almost up. Just gotta get him in the boat. Oh, it's a big red. Uh, whammy. Got a whammy. Nice size red there. Hold on. Pick that up. You gotta hold his head up. Hold his head up. There you go. Can you get that? No, oh, man. Got a good one here. Another good one. Double up. Oh man. Really? Yep. Got some reds here. Here, I'll get yours out first. Actually, I'll just get rid of this guy out and then I'll get your guy out. Nice red snapper right there. Going back. And red snapper number two. Going back. Or actually, that was number one. 
You okay, buddy? Yeah, he's gonna go to die. Good job, babies. Well, we already got our dinner fish with our lanes, so I won't mind some fun fish. You know, even though I was complaining about, about you know, no whammies, but I, I can't help it. They're still fun to catch. If you're ever out here, you know, get on some nice reds, they're, they're a blast. Kim's hooked up over there again. You like another red? Yeah, we found them. Looks like we found the reds. But there's always reds everywhere. You got them? Yep. Can pick them up. Yeah. Man, and it's just this one drop after another. He's ready to go back. <laughs> I'm hooked up over here. Yep. I put my pole down to help Kim, and I, I'm getting hooked up behind me. I don't even know it. Oh yeah, he's digging. He's digging. These are decent sized reds too. Man, think how full our freezer would be if you could take these home. Pretty fish. And big ol' eyes. He's ready. As soon as it hit the bottom. Another nice one. Another nice, I think, red. Yep. Man, it's just one after another out here. Another red snapper. Get out of there. Woo. You, you hooked up? Oh, I didn't even know. Pick him up. Oh, the red. Going back. Kim's dropping down a piece of that grunt and see if see if that'll get her hooked up. That's where they're not eating the chunks of uh, grunt during red snapper season. They got most of our keepers on chopped up grunt because the bait shores, the bait shops were out of shrimp and everything, and they were eating this stuff up. Nope, oh, nope, oh, nope. Oh, that wasn't even on the, the bottom. He came up to get that one. Yeah, that's another big one. Oh man, this might be the biggest of the day. Oh, nice little red, big red snapper. Ready, buddy? Yep, yeah, here he goes. Uh oh, Kim's hooked up. Kim is hooked up. Get him, babies. And take long. They're eat, they're they're eating these shrimp up. Oh man, I see some color there. 
We just found a whole nest of reds. There you go. Yep. Oh. Go, buddy. There you go. You gotta tell me when you're hooked up. Comes over here pulling just a little bit of drag here and didn't even know she was hooked up. The current's a little strong out here, so I'm dropping a four ounce weight on mine. I had three ounce, but it's pulling it onto the boat. Another nice red. Man, these are fun to catch, I'll tell you what. I mean, they are just stacked up down here, too. Oh, it's oh nice. I think I'll be all right. Bye, buddy. Bye. There we go. I got another one. Got another one. He's digging. He's trying to dig. Another decent little red. Gotcha. Another red. Going back. Whew. Good times. Oh man, this one's digging too. And usually I have my drag set pretty tight on when I'm fighting these fish out here. Not super tight, but enough to get them up off the bottom, especially if they're around structure. So they don't wrap around anything or go inside anything. Another red. Oh man, I barely got him hooked. Oh. Oh, Kim's hooked up. What we got here? Another red. Looks like I don't see any color yet, but he's he's digging like a red. Not very big. He's decent size. She's standing way far away from me because she thinks I'm going to throw it at her. I don't have a good track record, let's just say. <laughs> uh, there you go. Done or one more? Done. All right, we're done. All right, guys, thanks for joining us on the Strikes Fishing Adventure. And, uh, you know, even though I did throw a fish at Kim, hit her right in the back, <laughs> I mean, I just, it slipped right out of my hand. Anyway, uh, I know I'm going to catch hell for that in the comments below. But anyway, I don't care. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Come join us on all our fishing adventures and mayhem. Um, you know, we got a lot of nice uh, keepers in the box today. A little bit of take home fish, and then we got on some fun fish. And uh, we had a great time. So if you want to join us, hit that subscribe. Thumbs up, we're greatly appreciated. We enjoy uh, you know, the comments and talking to every one of you guys. We really appreciate you all. Thank you so much. And until we see you next time, stay salty, guys. Bye.